Huawei UK's vice president there saying the company is independent from the Chinese state. But of course, uh, that's not something that uh, a lot of lawmakers in the US think. The president Trump himself has uh, said that the UK should completely ban the company because it could be used for spying. And that's the fundamental criticism against the company, that because it's a Chinese company, it may be susceptible to interference from the government in Beijing. That's something I put to Mr. Thompson, and here's what he said. We made that clear over many years that we um, we abide by the laws in which in the countries in which we operate, um, and that means that we do not have to abide by domestic Chinese laws when outside China. Um, you know, we've stated that many many times. Our business would would collapse overnight if we were even to contemplate that, which we don't, and we've never been asked to hand over data by the Chinese government. Well, it's difficult to see where things go from here. Donald Trump, the president of the United States, ordered more export controls on Huawei last month. And as a result of that, the United Kingdom's intelligence agencies have launched a separate uh, look at Huawei and its role. That's because if the UK doesn't comply with those rules, it could be prevented from working with some American companies. But in terms of what this means for Boris Johnson in general, I think it's a really difficult dilemma for his government. On the one hand, there's this pressure from uh, members of his own ruling Conservative Party uh, and those chorus of voices are increasing at the moment, partly because of the coronavirus. On the other hand, though, there's a stark reality that Huawei uh, offers some of the most advanced 5G technology at the moment, some of the cheapest technology around as well. Uh, and uh, preventing uh, Britain from having that sort of technology could set back both businesses and consumers. The network analysts say uh, the network industry could lose almost $2 billion if Huawei is completely banned from the country and that it could set the rollout of 5G back by a further two years. For now, the government's staying tight-lipped on the issue. Huawei, as we've been hearing from its vice president, says it's committed on uh, uh, looking ahead to the future and its work in the United Kingdom, despite that growing pressure.